Are we all ready? Yes. Yeah. We have Shannon here. We are live. The Expo, Baltimore. And we have this bus trailer that's absolutely amazing. And Shannon's going to walk us through it and talk all about it. Um, first of all, this was the, a really fun project, actually. Um, I previously had um, a similar unit from a different manufacturer. And we, uh, I got contacted by Kaylin, and they were discussing about purchasing and actually building a, a trailer. And uh, they wanted some input. And I said, well, I've got one. Let's, let's visit and see what we can come up with. And so they came down and visited my yard. Um, I'm actually in the towing business. I'm third generation. Um, and we do a lot of specialty stuff. And what I wanted out of the trailer was I wanted a trailer that was versatile. I wanted something that could go from whether or not you're hauling a, a piece of equipment, a dozer, an excavator, um, a bus. Uh, we've got a lot of tour buses that come through, a lot of people that travel with uh, RVs. Um, and very large, you know, half a million, three quarter million dollar buses. And our tow trucks, it was just a little bit more difficult on the side of the road to load something. It wasn't as professional. Uh, unfortunately, there was sometimes there was damages that were done that were, could have been avoided if we were able to put it on the trailer. So when Kalen came and said, look, this is what we'd like to do, we would like to have your input. So I was able to get down and help with the design of this. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Oh, it's been great. Um, I actually own one. I actually have the very first one. It's a 57 footer. Um, and the reason we went with the length is because we're in Texas. Um, we're only about two hours from the factory. And with being in Texas, yes, everything in Texas is bigger. So you never know what the heck you're going to find or get. So, But the first part was that um, what I liked about this is the um, this is a single ramp. And the single ramp, whenever you get ready to use it, uh, it is an aluminum ramp. This one's painted to go with the, the, the deal, but you, you don't have to get it painted. Uh, the, the ramp only weighs 70 pounds. Um, you notice I'm handicapped, so the deal is for me. I wanted something that's going to be user friendly uh, for an operator to be able to be out on the road and be able to do this without having to have two. So a single operator can. Single Start operator can operate, yes. And uh, that was one of the deals that had to be to make it easier for me to do because I still operate and drive. And I do have employees, but it's something that I wanted to really make it to where an operator could do this and not kill themselves. You know, and, and be able to, you know, manage things. So with this ramp on it, which we already have the, the regular equipment ramps, uh, right now this trailer's sitting up a little bit. I've got some aluminum blocks underneath it because I actually brought it in here with my haul truck, <laughs> set it up, but it's a little bit easier to get on it when you park away from it. So normally when the blocks are out, the trailer sits down on the ground and you're going to put a piece of equipment. Uh, these ramps, it's obviously offset, but when it sits down, it's actually a 12 degree loading. Uh, 12 degree, most of the things that we're loading right now, you can get away with this. This bus, we actually loaded this bus with these ramps on it. We did not have to put the lower on it. Most of the families don't do that. All right. The reason for that also, too, is if you'll stand back and look at the angle of the way that the nose is cut right here, you can see about right here, there's a pitch that goes up a little bit. And they originated this with a pave, their, their paver style trailers, what this is, which helps with the loading. All right, and with this, a lot of guys have questioned about, well, whatever you call equipment because the sidewall is not very strong. Well, Kalen came in and up here, where you can see this well, that first plate, it's a 5 8 piece of plate. And what it's designed for is if you load an excavator or a bulldozer, it might hang over a little bit. That's a lot of weight on that side, so it keeps it from having to crush it, which was a very good idea to make this work. Um, it is a five setting for the neck, so you can get different run heights, whatever you're hauling, so you can get the, the, the height of what you're hauling. The deck itself is 22 inches, it's no more right, and then you can adjust it with the neck and also back in the air, which we'll get back to on that one. Um, you've got these connections, which you'll see these connections are used on the other side of the trailer when you walk around to the other side. It's got a 20,000 pound winch that just works off of remote control. Um, the, uh, of course, the hand controls. We're going to yeah, go up close. Bit. Let's see this winch. Let's get a close up. The um, upper deck, the reason for the winch is up there so the operator can see uh, a little bit. Um, it gets a little bit more visibility gives you a little bit more upper part and then that way if the operator needs to go down low there's a couple of you know they can go to a d-ring they can go to a piece slot or something put a snatch block or something and they can cover whatever they're going to put in the house okay um this area that's in the center right here if you want to get up in there and see that area has two options that a customer can choose they can put in a, a pony motor and sit in there. If they choose to have no pony motor, they want to use their own wet line kit, then what they can use is that is also a chain wrap. Uh, and my particular uh, bus that I use is 
we use that as a chain rack to keep my operators where we can leave that equipment the chains on that particular trailer. And that makes it easier so you don't, if you have multiple trucks that pull it, you just don't have the right stuff in it. Um, there is going to be lower trays that are going to be down here. There's some extension lines that we have the hydraulics, but you can put cribbing, um, whatever you need to do. It's expanded metal to be able to have yeah, store areas yeah. and it's an enclosed, so it makes it good. Um, of course, it's got the regular uh, the rails that come out if you're going to haul something wide. Uh, you can put, I think, a 2x12 set it across here and get out of the machine that's the tracks and hangs over a little bit. Uh, when we did this, I wanted a point to put extra key slots and D-rings all down through here. The reason would be is because if you're hauling a bus, you never know where the bus is actually going to be sitting. It could either be backed on like this one, or it's going in the direction that the, 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 tote, the, the power unit's going. Or sometimes you have to look on this backwards. So that way you could go either direction and your key slots are close, so that's where you have more options. Um, there, if there are some, We'll talk about later on, we're going to add some more to the center, but right now they're just going to be on the outside of the D-ring. Um, we, uh, I'm sorry. Go along. This right here is going to be for air where you actually push it, you can actually dump. Hey, Rod, how are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Doing good, sir. Uh, where you can actually dump the full air to be able to do it. Um, this right here is going to be a ramp that goes up and down. We have a pin that goes in here that if you're going to be loading a track machine of some nature and you just need it to be flat, then you can leave it flat. And you can pick this thing up to give a little bit of height to go over the tire mm -hmm. um, for being able to haul a bus or something of that nature. Uh, we think we're going to upgrade those. Um, we're going to make them all aluminum right now. They're steel. Okay. We're going to do aluminum. Just to save weight? That's correct. Okay. Um, it runs on seven half inch tires. They are very high load rated. Several customers have asked, um, you know, for low ratings because if they do haul something, it's extremely heavy. Um, so they are very high. We're running a Cooper tire. Uh, the axles are 25,000 pound axles. Um, the we have several different spreads. The spread would be between the center and the center. This particular one is 60 inch spread. We can do a 55 or 54. Depends on the state that you're in. Um, we can do a water bolster if need be different attachment points. For instance, like this right here, people go, what the heck, what if you got a tire sitting here? In this situation, with a single, you can use this as an extra tire. You wanna make sure the operator has as much tire points as possible. I'll come back, obviously, switches are all waterproof, work lights. This is gonna be an actual tag that if you're in an area where, uh, number one, you're empty, there's no reason for having all three axles, you're wearing tires out. You can hit the air switch, you can pick the tag up. Mm -hmm. um, you can. You don't have to have it all the way down all the time. Um, so the deal is, is that um, you come back around. Uh, all feelings, we have our strokes. They're in there, which is going to be a local switch that you can go back in here. Um, yes. You can get the, the flag options, which you can see on the deal right here with these flags, they click in and out. These holes right here are designed for a sign which on our trade in particular, we have it where it's an over, oversized sign. Or if you want, when you're not in transporting oversized, you can pick it up, turn it around, and you can have your company's logo on the back. Awesome. So you have advertisement yeah, cool. going down the road. So now we're back it's at the back. of the trailer. Oh yes, yeah. it is. incredible. There's another 20,000 pound winch that's mounted in the back, same winch that's in the front. Uh, this particular trailer has two separate remotes. You can actually operate this one on, a, on a, its own remote, the other one on the own remote. So that way, if you had to do operate two for whatever reason it may be, um, to be able to when you take the neck off, um, come back around. The quick disconnects that were on the neck that we were showing in the very beginning. <coughs> this trailer's plumb. Now we're going to modify these. This particular design. This is one of the older designs. The new design will be is we're going to take these fittings and we're going to countersink them so that there's nothing sitting on that where the, the operator can plug his jumper lines mm -hmm. into here to operate it. What this is, is that this is to be able to operate the back winch, okay? Um, it is also plumbed in the very front of the trailer, so you can plug your neck when you take the neck off and you're gonna load something. You don't have to come back here. You can be up there if you wanna pull off the side of the road to build up something, so you have connections. The whole trailer's plumbed from front to back. So that way you can operate this winch in any location of the trailer. So, uh, come on, different things. Uh, same thing, ramp uh, these pins. You can pin it where you show that it's up. You can set it down and then pin it to what you have. Right. The color. Inflation. See again, here's the other lines in the front. So basically, uh, a lot of customers would like to ask our operators, 
when they're on the side of the road to be able to uh, to load, a, say, a big Prevo or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. But if they're on the side of the road, we want to make this safe for the operator. So what the operator can do is he can disconnect the net and he can just pull off to the side. Okay. Now we understand that the ground is not able, but if he's got decent ground, he can pull to the side, take his jumper lines from there, plug into here, and he can operate straight. Mm -hmm. So whatever he needs to be able to do. Um, is that by the green? There thing? is um, back in the back, which we did miss, is in the center between the center axle. There's adjustment with an air rod, and you can actually adjust the height. Is the winch hydraulic or air? It's all hydraulic. Hydraulic. It does have air release um, to be able to freewheel the winches front and back, and they're usually at the winches themselves. Um, and then, the, and then of course, then they're all hydraulic. All right, great. And, and there are planetary winches. Uh, there has been notice of, of questions an operator doesn't want to be out there with a very slow, warm gear style winch. So, Kaylin, we put the um, the planetary so that there is some good variable speed on it. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, this trailer, in particular, is loaded all the way out, pretty much everything. Which in the very back we didn't look at the winches. It has a load scale on it. So this trailer does have a load scale, so it gives you an idea that's tied in there. Uh, this particular trailer also has a um, air management system, so that you continuously it monitors the air of the tires. So constantly. So this trailer pretty much has everything. Um, you can get them in 53, 55, or 57. Um, we can accommodate the states. So. So if you're hauling buses, I mean, this is the only trailer you should be using. Oh, I definitely. mean, it's definitely. It's definitely perfect. I mean, you can operate by yourself. There's remote. I mean. Depending on what state you're in, we can customize it. Uh, it's absolutely incredible.